Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to be trying out the new spline integration with Webflow and I've already tried it out. It's amazing. We're gonna actually just pick this character from one of the libraries or the community files or something on spline and we're going to animate it. So as you can see, it's now following my mouse and if I go near the button, obviously, as you can see, his eyes and his whole character is moving. And if I click, uh, just hover over, introduce myself, as you can see, he's like pretty excited. So you, the hands raised and I mean like the, he has a lot of excitement and all of that stuff. So we're gonna create that, stay tuned, and it's gonna be an awesome video. Okay guys, so in order to create the animation or the effects that you just saw, we are going to go to our spline and we're gonna click on export. When we click on export, we can go to the code export and we can just copy this link to actually paste it. But before that, you can also tweak, like what do you actually want? Do you wanna show the background color? Do you wanna have the page scroll? I'm gonna say, okay, show the background color, don't have the page scroll, don't have the orbit, don't have the pan, don't have the zoom. And I just don't want that because when a person tries to click on it, sometimes it like looks weird or acts weird. So I don't want any of that funky behavior. I'm gonna control all of that from Webflow. So I'm gonna say update code override and I'm just gonna copy this particular link. I'm gonna press K here. I'm gonna say I wanna insert a spline scene. Here we have the scene. I'm just gonna paste it. I'm gonna go to our style and I'm gonna say the width is gonna be 100VW. The height is going to be 100VH and this is going to be fixed, let's say. And the top positioning is also going to be zero. So it starts from the left and the top, that's it. And we're just gonna move it behind the whole text thing. So here we see our character, I think it looks good. Now what I want to do is, I want it to follow my mouse when I'm on this particular uh, hero section. So if I'm on the hero section, if I go somewhere on the left, I want the whole character to rotate slightly uh, towards the mouse. So how do we do that? We're gonna click on the hero section. Now this is insane. We're gonna click on the hero section. We're gonna say, I wanna add any interaction and I can have multiple triggers like scrolling triggers, page loading triggers, and we can get into all of that. Uh, so I can say when I'm mouse overing this, mouse hovering this, or I'm hovering my mouse over this particular hero section, I want you to do something. So I'm gonna say I wanna add a mouse animation and this is going to be my uh, object animation or something along those lines. Okay, that's done. And I'm gonna select my spline scene. I'm gonna press plus and I'm gonna say I wanna do something with this. Okay, what do I actually wanna do? Well, I want to go ahead and move this character. So I'm gonna say that it should move Let's just select the character. It should move somewhere, sorry, not this. Let's just position it the way it was. It should move somewhere, rotate. It should rotate somewhere here. So it should follow my mouse and it should rotate here. And on the, d and on the default state, it should just be 100 or back to its original position. Sorry, back to its original, what am I doing? Okay, I didn't select the character, apologies. So it should just be in its original position here and let's save. So I think it should work now, but one thing that I don't really like is how the character is in the middle and we can just tweak that by tweaking our spline uh, scene here. Since this is the spline scene here is exporting the preview that we see, it's using or actually maneuvering our camera. It's basically uh, selecting that. So anything we change here or the positioning we change here on our camera is going to be reflected on that. If you want to have a fixed camera, then you would have to create a separate camera yourself as well. So once I've done that, I'm just gonna go to my spline scene. I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna reload this. So once this is reloaded, it's gonna be somewhere there. Okay, so now if we just play it, it looks like this. And I think it looks good. Okay, when, I'm, when we're hovering over it, it looks like this. When we're moving it on the right, it looks like this. I think this looks great. Okay, now what we want to do is if we're looking, if we're placing our hovering our mouse like on the Y axis, obviously if we rotate the whole object, it's gonna look weird. But what if we just rotate or tilt the whole face? I think that's gonna look good. Okay, so let's just do that. Just to add a slight bit of interaction and dynam dynamic stuff. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna say that obviously we wanna tweak the same animation. On the mouse Y actions, what we wanna do is we're gonna first select the scene and we're gonna say on the Y action, we just wanna go ahead and tweak the spline again. And let's just close our X actions, open our Y actions. Okay, on this one, we wanna say maybe, maybe, just maybe, we actually just wanna go ahead and tweak the face. 
So for the face, what do we want to do? If a person places his mouse upwards, we want it to look. Oh, this is a really cool look as well. I mean, once you're exploring these things, I mean, all of these things just come to notice. And let's just go ahead and obviously make this zero since we don't want it. Okay, so this is our our face and maybe here, actually even even above the face, what else do we have? Okay, maybe the face is fine. So for the face, we just wanna, let's say, move it somewhere here, somewhere above. Obviously, if it's if I'm seeing, or if the mouse is up, maybe he's trying to look up. Let's do that, and let's go here and just say this is going to be zero. And obviously, in order before making it zero, or after making it zero, we obviously need to select the face as well. And maybe for the zero state, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. If you wanna reset it, you can just press option and click on it and it's going to be reset it. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe place it here or slightly below maybe somewhere here. Okay, so now I think it should normally work. Sometimes when you're messing with, let's say other properties, it looks weird. So as you can see, if I'm going up, it's looking up. If I'm going down, it's looking down. Maybe it should look a bit more down. I personally feel like because again, it's not really completely following it. So let's go here really quickly and say that in this particular instance, I just want you to be a bit more down. So maybe somewhere here. One thing that I don't really like is there's like something actually here which I think we should just remove from the scene, which is something that I'm just gonna do right now. So let's just see what that particular thing is. The issue, and obviously sometimes you have to tweak it, that when all of these things actually go down, they actually blend behind this circle. So in order to tweak that, what we have to do is obviously I have to select the face and just slightly move it forwards. So when it's down, it doesn't really blend in with the face. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go back and reposition our scene to the way it was, export and update. Okay, and then reload the scene. And now if we, let's say, play it, as you can see, now it is fixed. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted and this is how our object is looking or our scene is looking. And now I just wanna do one thing. When I click on this or maybe even when I'm hovering on this, I want this person to be ex excited, maybe the face change and the hands raise up, something like that. So in order to do something like that, we're just gonna go here and we're gonna say, well actually we're gonna go onto the button itself and we're gonna say, I wanna add an element trigger. So when a person is hovering over this particular thing, I want you to do an action. And I want you to do obviously a custom action because we haven't even created it. And I'm going to say that this action is gonna be, let's say, what do we wanna name it? Uh, happy or something. Okay, so once it's happy, I'm just gonna say that I obviously would select my spline. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say I wanna select spline. And the first thing that we would like to do when a person hovers over this is I want you to select the hands. Okay, I don't even know what the name of the hands is. Okay, these are the hands. And let's say, it, I don't, okay, it's right below the character. Uh, I think these are the hands. And now let's see what values do we wanna tweak. Obviously not this one, so let's just reset it. Uh, is it this? Hmm, this is cool as well, but we don't really want to tweak it. So let's get rid of that. Is it this? I think this is it. Okay. So by default, we have something like this. But when we hover over it, I want you to raise your hands like this. Okay, this looks good. And I obviously also want you to raise them up slightly like this. Okay, I think this looks good and let's just see how this looks. Honestly, let's just see how this looks. So I'm gonna click on save. So this is his happy state. And similarly on hover out, I'm gonna start an animation. I'm gonna create a custom animation, not happy or something. And we're gonna save it. And in the not happy, sorry, this is gonna be happy, but here it's gonna be not happy. So let's just select it and tweak it and in this non-happy state i'm going to go to my spline again i'm going to say i want you to have the spline interaction and we can obviously tweak it but let's just see how this actually looks now 
So we have something like this. And when we hover over it, as you can see, he's really happy, but he doesn't even bring his hands down. So in order to for him to bring his hands down, obviously we have to tweak him, tweak it. But I mean, this is this looks really cute, I think. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna say, okay, this is going to be zero. The hands are gonna be in its own position. And similarly here, the hands should be in this position as well. And let's just play it. And let's just see how this looks. Okay, here and then back again here and then back again. Okay, so I think that looks good. Now let's, let's just add the expressions as well. So I'm just gonna select the both uh, the happy state. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say that I wanna have the spline scene and I'm just gonna add another interaction here. Uh, and I'm gonna say, okay, that's also gonna tweak the spine, the spline and we're gonna select the face. And in the face, maybe we just wanna increase the size of the face or something. I don't know, maybe that's gonna look weird. I think this looks good. Personally, I think this looks good. Uh, it looks like he's excited or something. So I think that's gonna do for me or do it for me. So we're gonna save it. And similarly on the not happy one, we're just gonna go here. We're gonna add another uh, item and we're gonna say this is also, sorry, not here. We're gonna select the spine, spline, and we're gonna say this is going to tweak the spline. And here it's gonna change the the face and the face is going to be back to its original size which i think is like one or something so hand raised hand down hand raised hand down and also as you can see when the hands are being raised both the hand raised and the expressions animation is running at the same time but when it comes to the mouse out animation it's actually not at the same time and the reason for that is maybe the timing is different for both of these so i'm just going to go to the not happy and as you can see that is actually on 0.5 seconds so we don't really want that so i'm just going to go here and i just want to go ahead and bring it somewhere above and that should be it and then if we save it we play it this is what it looks like both of those things are going down at the same time and I think this looks good. I also feel like maybe the rotation can be a bit slow, but obviously you can tweak all of that yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you use Spline with the new Webflow. I think it's amazing. It's gonna explore a lot of different opportunities for interaction and animation, and it's gonna make your sites look super cool. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next one, and also stay tuned for more updated content.